Sorry, sweetie. It's stuck. Can't go any lower than that. Is that right? a funny story about that. But... I forgot what it was. Every problem in this park has a story. The park makes do with what it has, Eve. We're resourceful that way. been resolved. Over. Ten four. Fill me in on the details. Uh, the reports end up being at ten fifty six. White male, early fifties. He was stumbling around when I got there. Stopped discharging his firearm as soon as he saw me pull up. Looked like he was shooting at some bottles. No altercation. But he didn't need to take a breathalyzer for me to know he was wasted. He's in custody now. I'll be pretty late so you can have the yogurt in the fridge while filling out the report. Wait, he's still with the porcupine? Tell him, girl, we already miss her moves. Hope those two lumne campers have a good dental. Hernandez, or else it's gonna be your fat ass who needs the extra dental work. Just have that report on my desk by tomorrow. Over. Jeez. You know they're just trying to get a rise out of you. Why do you always take the bait? Because if they actually cared about their jobs, they'd be angry too. Not 
that it matters. It's not everyone, Eve. There are people out there who still care. Who, the campers? Because I can show you some rocks and trees that a certain artist thought made a good canvas. That kind of stuff doesn't get fixed overnight. Neither did his fractured jaw or your suspension. to you. You used to be such a cute cadet. What? I'm not still cute? It's that attitude of yours. I remember when you were energetic and determined. that again they beat that out of me a while ago then let's see if we can cram some of that back in By a transfer? By a change of pace! You'll love the meadows! It's a little chilly this time of year, but you can bundle up in the cabin. Which you'll have all to yourself, by the way. You can thank Ranger Smith's habit for that. And the camping population? Don't think you're clever. We used to visit Tolumne every summer when I was a kid. I know they have a campground there. It's mostly hikers and mountain climbers right now since the roads just opened, but I'm sure they'll come piling in as it warms up. I expect you to do your job. Great, more babysitting. Remember what you signed up for. Trust me, I do. Or I did before I realized the park was just the public's dumping ground. That's why the National Park Service exists. We can't protect every square inch of land, but we can manage parts of it. If only. For most of these people, the parks are just toll roads. They pay to get drunk for a few days. They'll sit around the campfire and talk about how much they connect with nature and maybe even write poetry about it. And then they'll leave the fire smoldering, forget to pick up their trash, and leave. why we're that's why we're here right that's our job enforcing the law to protect the land but who are we protecting it for 
The same people who are destroying it. And where's the justice in a job like that? We're here. Too small for you, is it? station nearby, but they mostly oversee boring bureaucratic stuff. They'll leave you alone, but you might have to hand out permits if they're ever out for lunch or something. Do I have discretion? Not a chance, sweetie. Tell them to jump in the lake before ever letting them fish in it. Dusty as I thought it'd be. Maybe Ranger Smith like chugging windows too. Not unless he snuck back recently.
nothing. It's just the cabin settling. This place is old, so it's gonna be a little noisy. Kind of spooky, huh? Some of the past rangers stationed here always said it was haunted. Personally, I think it was just something in the coffee. Our tax dollars that work. Just be happy we're not privatized yet. Make sure to recycle this later. Question, when was the last time you were at the range? To shoot? God, I don't know. About a year ago, I guess, when you dragged us all down there on our day off to practice. For you guys, maybe. I'd kill to just have one weekend off. Uh, I didn't mean like, you know, I won't actually. What we have here is your standard issue pump action Remington 870. Also known as a shotgun. Fancy. The 
this actually doesn't look like it'll fall apart in my hands. Cal and the DOI to have their priorities straight. <laughs> when have I ever turned down new equipment? Hopefully you never have to use it. It's not like everyone is asking you to carry it around on patrol, which I expect you to do every day. Can I do that before sunrise? So I don't have to talk to anyone, ever? Absolutely not. I will not allow you to be a weird forest hermit under my watch. You need to have some positive experiences, okay? away I'm scolding then. I didn't say anything! 
but you thought it. And if you have any sense, you'll... I'll lecture you another day. But for now, I have to get back to the station. Before Hernandez eats all the yogurt. for me. What's wrong? I thought you loved dirty jokes. It's nothing. I'm fine. for you because I thought you make the same mistake twice. You're a good ranger, Eve. If more of us were like you and cared more about what's around us and less about our pensions, then the Force would be better off. This will be good for you. If you can straighten yourself out here, then you can do anything. So try to have some fun, okay? Okay. Never miss me. I'll call every day to check in. wrong.
Oh, hey, are you on break too? Wanna hang? missing out here well, what I said do you know how many people disappear in these parts annually I I'm sorry I don't probably turned in this entire semester. Do me a favor and stumble back to camp, okay? I'd rather not have to explain to my supervisor how you all fell off a cliff. Sorry for the trouble. Uh, have a good night. I won't, but thanks. for coffee first.
something more comfortable soon.
Did I tell you morons about sneaking around? You're trespassing on federal property. That's serious stuff. Come out now and I won't slap cuffs on you. my post, and according to my supervisor, I do. We do not concern ourselves with the laws of the mortals. We?
much as I'd love to. Believe me, I would. I can't do that. I'm already on thin ice. Spirit. Do you have any idea how ridiculous that is? Do you have any idea how ridiculous your request is? That isn't my problem. Basic instinct prioritizes survival over income. You understand that, right? It's not complicated. Basic instincts get written over by basic training. Besides, it's not about the money. You're not a very perceptive spirit, are you?
really taught you goons better than to go around and point these things at people. And if you do, then make sure they're loaded. Did they hire you out of pity? them long after you've returned to the ground. Yellowstone? Yeah, boss? Wanna tell me why the lights are back on? Well, because I flipped them back on, duh. I can see that, but why? Because the jig's up. She's not buying it anymore. She's already getting ready to flip your lid. I know you're eager to take my home away from me again, but let me sort this out first. Okay, gunslinger? No! Not okay! How about you try doing that again?
good boy. What did I ever do to you? I give you belly rubs and everything. Zion, sweetie, can you keep the fluff ball at bay for me? This was a disaster. No small part thanks to your lack of commitment. I was tired. Done this like a million times. It's the pits. We do it because it works. That last guy rarely stepped foot in here after we gave him a good scare. So they really did think it was haunted. That's because it is. Now go away. She's different. Your face over there put up a fight. I don't like her. You don't like nobody. She's Snoopy. That's kind of why I like her. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, even if it's incorrect. Lemongrass again? Please, and don't sneak sugar in it this time.
Will somebody give me some answers? Now, will one of you tell me who exactly you people are? I've never heard of a ghost that can touch people, or one having wings, or whatever that thing on your head is. Are they costumes? What is your deal? Oh, is that all you wanted to know? I could tell you that much. Hey, don't tell her our secrets. Cool ya jets. I'm just gonna tell her who we are. But first, I want to know who she is. My name is Eve. I'm a... I work here. Howdy yo, Eve! Nice to meet ya! In case you didn't catch it, I'm Yellowstone. This Oith Angel is Zion. She's a cutie pie and I love her lots. Love you lots, too. And then there's Yosemite. She's like our big sister. I love her lots, too, even when she's being a crab. So, are you each named after a park? Uh, are they nicknames? No. I'm Yellowstone. This is Zion. And this is Yosemite. So, what are you saying? You are the parks? Sure, that works. All right, I'm radioing my supervisor. Huh? But why? Told you no one would understand. I don't know how you're pulling off these magic tricks, but trouble is trouble. And you three are definitely that. Let go! Do you just not believe us? I don't believe you, I don't trust you, and most importantly, I don't want to deal with you.
Don't bother. Just get your painting and the rest of your stuff. We need to go away for a while. Thirty seconds. I'm back in a jiffy. Back in a jiff. Wait, Yellowstone. You! Is your brain made of mush? What were you thinking? That I can make her believe, duh. I think it worked out pretty well. Does she look well to you?
I was here, and then I wasn't, and now I'm... What the... Oh, God. No, but I thought we could finally... Listen to me. What if something happened? What if she got lost or hurt? What would you have done then? Or worse, what if something had happened to you? There's a reason I try to keep us hidden. You know what they're capable of, what they can do. Of course, that's all out the window now. Guess I messed up pretty bad again, huh? I think you did a good job, Yellowstone. Looks like someone's sleepy. Get her ready for bed while the human and I negotiate. Okie dokie. I'll be right there to tuck you in. Might even tell you that story about the swallow you like so much. Swallow story? I don't remember that one. No, of course. Why would you? excited for her own good. Down 
into it. We're exhausted too. It's been a long day for us. So how about we let you sleep here for the night and then in the morning, you can call your supervisor and send us on our way. You think I'm dumb enough to fall for that? You'll murder me in my sleep. In the time it would take to strangle you, I could read half of an entire book. Why waste my time with it? Besides, wouldn't you rather not have three trespassers wandering the park at night? I'm trying to play nice. It can't seriously be morning yet. Rise and shine, Eve who works here. Catch all your Z's. must have slipped through my fingers. Or out of your mouth. When you aren't shifting around, you sound like a broken trombone.
Yellowstone. T. Just a jet. Want me to replace the bag? It's pretty much water now. Don't be wasteful. There's still some flavor left. Fine, fine. How about you, Eve? I saw you chugging coffee last night. Bet you take it black, huh? You seem like the type of kid who takes it black. With a little sugar, actually. Dang, thought I had it. Oh well. Up a squat. I'll get you a cup. Squat a a what? She means sit down. No can do. I have my job to take care of. Patrolling, permits, calls. Tattling on us. Priority number one, I assure you. morning air for now. I'm making flapjacks. Yay. Don't worry, cutie. I'm making you a veggie omelet. can if you go get them for me. Remember to wash them. Fine. Don't cry to me when your stomach starts growing fungus. Some sugar or sugar. No! Oh, 
Play flapjacks! It's not polite to stare. If we freak you out that much, you can turn around. Or leave. That would work too. You'd like that, huh? For me to leave you alone so you can just keep mooching off this place. Are you expecting a no? All the other goons always ran off to the outpost down the road as soon as they caught wind of us. Only ever came back if they had to get something. And never alone. Well, I'm not like the others. Thank God. It doesn't take much to scare the apathy into them. But not you, huh? I'm open to suggestions. Official report to the head goon. Journal. Sorry to disappoint. What kind of journal? For documenting information? Studies? a journal. I use it to wring out the last few drips of dams I give. It keeps me anchored to reality. And boy oh boy do I need that. I should be proud of you, though. After all, how many of you suits actually know how to write? You think we're dumb? I think you're uneducated. Look, I'm not wild about my co-workers either. Glad we're in agreement. But, give us some credit. Or at least give me credit. You know what a school is, right? Something I assume you didn't go to? <laughs> no. For me, school was years worth of crap I had to sludge through to even get a sniff. And was it worth it? Popular opinion is a giant no. It might be if people cared, but they don't. And even if I thought it was, 
If those people are the ones I'm protecting this land for, nothing will ever make it worth it. Wow. I was almost expecting something insightful. Don't like the answers? Don't ask the questions. It's not the answers that bother me. It's the rotten little mind behind them. You two can duke it out after breakfast. Time to chow down. Yeah, it's sort of amazing. Uh, how did you even... I'm basically the chef around here. And the maid, and the dishwasher, and the laundry -er. <laughs> You could say that I'm a jack of all trades. Master of them, too. I'll say. What did you even put in this? A trade secret. It's brown butter. No fear! Well, whatever it is, it's delicious. off canned sausages while I was here. Just live together. Absolutely not. Like last night, but every night. Just give it a think. We already have a solid setup here. We could keep the place nice and tidy while you're wage slaving away all day.
here because it's my job. Last I checked, Woodland Sprites aren't on the payroll. The pancakes were good, but I'm still radioing this in. Aww, I thought it was a pretty good idea. <sighs> Stop scaring me like that. I've had more than enough of Miss Misery. places to hide. We can just trust her to take care of us like always. We'll be back soon. She won't last long. It's the eyes. They're almost as dull and lifeless as the others. Flapjacks are gonna get dull and lifeless if you don't eat them soon. I was reading that? Now I'll have to find my place again. Too smart for a bookmark? Smarter than you. has read all those books at least 50 times by now. It is a big deal. You'd be surprised by how much you don't pick up on the first time around. sticking around long enough for us to use her credit card. You could have ordered tons more books. And groceries. More fresh veggies, please. I'm sorry, what? Just be happy you goons are useful for something. They usually cancel the card after the first couple charges. Stop teaching her your second language. Sorry, sorry. Do you want spinach on it too? to go hiking with me later. 
I don't think so. After you're done here, there's a whole lot of cleaning up you have to do. Give me a break! I just swept the other day. And now the kitchen is a disaster zone. Clean before we leave. Maybe things wouldn't get dirty so quick when we actually rinsed your dishes. What was that? Yeah! Uh, nothing, Chief. Gripping if you can't tear yourself away from it for more than five seconds. It's not. Just some accounts from a miner that passed through these parts a long time ago. But it helps. With your research? Want to tell me how you know that? have a folder that literally has research written on it. Wasn't hard to put two and two together. Look, it does math. It does facial reconstruction too. I knew your snooping would be an issue. Get your yoga pants in a bunch. I didn't actually see anything. Gotta say, though, I'm curious what someone like you could be researching. You're curious? Stam? Can I get some personal space here? I don't want to catch your personality. Curiosity is waning. Shut up. <sighs> you see Yellowstone's head? look like to you? What does this have to do with any... Just tell me what it looks like. A volcano? It looks like a volcano. And can you guess what has a volcano? Yellowstone National Park, obviously. But volcanoes don't actually look like that. You're not going to get anywhere with that kind of linear thinking. And look at Zion. It's 
See those leaves and branches? Pretty lush, right? Sure. Reminds you of any particular painting. Wait, are you saying... Starting to get it? Yeah, the three of you like playing dress-up. Real cute. It's amazing how you keep finding new ways to disappoint me. Let's try this again. Permission to slap you? I'm giving you permission to learn. Now touch it. It, not to caress it. Jeez. Ah! You didn't have to be so rough. Costume jewelry. National Park. Now you're starting to get it. Finally. Just... 
what are you? What are you really? Now you're starting to get it. Finally. Just like they know how their Zion and Yellowstone. Okay, sure. But how do you know? How do you know that your stomach rumbles when you are hungry? Did someone have to explain the concept to you? How long have you known? I don't know. Have you always known? I don't know. Do you know anything? If I knew anything, I wouldn't be trying to figure it out. that pop into my head. Bits and pieces of a language I don't know. Faces I don't recognize, but seem familiar. And whenever I think I figured it out, and it's on the tip of my tongue, that ripple further away with each new epiphany. It just gets quieter and quieter. It's so frustrating! But if I can figure out just what we are, where we came from, then maybe... maybe I can finally remember. So yeah, I don't know anything, but I'm going to. Well, good for you.
just a treat. It's not going to kill him. Friends of yours? No. God, no. A day on the job where I don't have to deal with those hellspawn tracking their carbon footprint in here is a day well spent. <laughs> That's what I thought. was wrong about you. Last night, I could have sworn I saw some conflict swimming around in those dead eyes of yours. Sniffling in the corner, crying about just how tired you were. last night was you three. Of course I'd be tired. Why do you care? Because I'm tired too. Tired of you people prioritizing that ranger image so people don't realize you're actually hired thugs. You're just one branch on a tree that doesn't even care about you. A bureaucratic arm I'd rather see cut off than fester. You're not here to educate. You're not here to preserve. Not unless preservation looks like a permit. No. You're here to protect the bottom line. To shake people down when they just want to get away from the hell you've created. To make sure there's enough resources intact to vacuum money up when your masters come calling. I've seen your type before. You don't care. Putting on that dumb hat just makes you think you do. wasn't worth the pain it caused. There is one thing I care about, though. Getting you the hell out of here. I'm radioing this in. Go ahead. Do it. Prove to me you're just another... Just another... Fra...
Yosemite! A fever? A fire. Don't move! You'll make it worse! It's... close. <laughs> Oh no. Not good. How far is it? Get her to the couch. And whatever you do, stay here. But Eve, we can... I'm doing what I can. Now stay back and quit crying. What do we tell you, man? You just had to be the rugged mountain man. He gets it. He didn't do it on purpose. seconds to tell me what happened. Uh, I was... we were... I, I thought it... I thought it put it out! I... I didn't mean to. Get out of the way! Before your jacket catches! All of you, get away from here. Back to the campground. Move it!
Bay Station. This is Ranger Adams. We have a situation behind the cabin post. 1070, a repeat 1070. Get dispatched to send out a fire unit. <laughs> to Illumine Station, do you read me? To Illumine Station. Okay, so that's happening. What are you doing here? Eve! There you are! We're here to help! We? Can't do this alone. I told you to to stay at the cabin. Miss Eve, if this doesn't get put out soon, there won't be a cabin. Start looking, Harry. I want you to get out of here. Gather up as much snow as you can and dump it on the fire. Dirt works too, but don't give the fire any extra fuel. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. No good. We need to get out. ASAP! Wait! I have an idea! Save it. If we stay here, we're toast. Yellowstone? 
you know I love you lots, right? Of course I do! Love you lots too! Uh, but the fire! I know! Which is why I'm really super sorry for what I'm about to do. Please don't hate me. Huh? How could I ever hate my Earth Inc? Whoa, 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 what? Good. You're doing great. Just keep crying. Oh, try! Loud and clear, kid. Yellowstone, aim for the fire. Looks like it. There too. How is some quick thinking?
receive. Thanks for the help. But you two need to get back to the cabin. Where are you going? To snuff out another fire before it spreads. I've met a lot of idiots on this job, but you must be a real protege. Whoa, take it easy, lady. This is assault? Oh my god, do you know how unethical this is? Yeah, almost as bad as arson. Wanna report it? What was rattling in that skull of yours, huh? You a firebug? This what gets you off? Or are you just stupid? That's what I thought. Listen here, you little shit. I've said, listen. know how sick I am of this. How often I have to sit by and watch people like you destroy good things. Does it even register? Is it some kind of game? What 
gives you the right to burn the last few pieces of dignity this scarred husk of a rock has left to raise any proof that we were once humble enough to live and breathe and die with the world we got dropped into. Before we got so tied up with ourselves, we felt the urge to make a distinction. Answer me! Tell me I'm not just a bandage for your arrogance! I was just trying to start a campfire with a cigarette, okay? That's enough, Eve. You've already chewed them out. They were just about to leave anyway. you do that they're just going to call thank you i needed to hear that what You've done enough, at least for today. I just wanted to protect what I love. Maybe we need more things. Just listening to all that gives me a headache. Oh, 
on earth did you find so much trouble on your first day? I guess I just have a pension for it. But still, to just stumble on a fire like that. Well, in any case, I'm just happy you're safe. We got awfully lucky with this one. With all this wind, you better believe we did. It could have been an even bigger pain in the neck. A pain in the neck is still a pain in the neck, Eve. It's still going to be sore when you're hunched over all that paperwork. Yeah, I'll see if I can get around to that. You'll have it for me the next time I visit. Maybe if you're nice to them, someone at the other station will transcribe it for you. But Eve? Are you sure there isn't anything you want to tell me? Not a thing. Hmm. Okay then. In that case, I'll talk to you tomorrow. And the day after that. You really don't have to. But I want to. Over and out, Jesse. <laughs> Over and out, Eve. Ernie, get your grubby hands off my trail, mate. I knew it all along. You're just a soft serve softy. With the cherry on top. The pitted kind, maybe. Careful. If you bite down, she'll crack your teeth. Zip it, or next time I'll actually let you burst into flames. It was just a fever. I would have been fine. Eventually. Like that makes any sense. What if there's an actual campfire, or lightning strikes a tree? What happens then, huh? What did I tell you about when you're thinking? If this truce is going to continue, you're going to need to expand to the abstract. Your existence is plenty enough abstract for me already. Alright everyone, listen up. If you're bunking here, I want this place to stay immaculate. Last thing I want to deal with after clocking out is a pigsty. Yellowstone will handle it. She can start cooking for one more too. 
That's so mean, guys. How can you just sell me up the river like that? Oh, that reminds me. What are you going to do with those campers, Miss Eve? Flip their lids? Make them apologize? And take them out back? Have them pinky swear not to do it again? None of the above. I'm letting them off the hook. If I'm lucky, they'll get picked off by a killer in the woods. Otherwise, everybody gets one free pass. Now that's funny. What is it this time? For someone who doesn't care, you sure put a lot of energy into it. Howdy yo, campers! And welcome to me and Zion's first fireside chat! Hello, it's very nice to be here. Today we're gonna do our gal Eve proud and talk about the history of the National Park Service. Before Yosemite finds out we took her books, I hope. Aw, don't be square, cutie! We got this! It all started back in the 10th century when Leif Erikson. That's a little too far back, Yellowstone. Oh, Columbus and his pilgrims then. I don't think that's quite right either. It's a good guess though. The National Park Service actually has its roots in the years following the founding of the United States. In 1790, after getting permission from Congress, President George Washington obtained land near the Potomac River to build a new capital city. This city was named Washington, D.C., and the plan was for it to have a lot of really pretty parks and monuments. Like the Lincoln Memorial? A little too soon. But 
that you're on the right track! These places were called the National Capital Parks, and they laid really important groundwork. Whoa, so the park service is old as dirt, huh? Not really. There's still a ways to go before the actual park service. What happened? I thought you read the book. I did! But without pictures, all those words just make me so crazy. Oh. Well, I guess I can explain. If that's okay. Knock our socks off! Uh, I'll try! For a long time, most parks were run by different groups. No one really thought about preserving land until people started looking to settle in the West. I remember what happens now. A whole bunch of hippies got misty-eyed and started thinking about how they could keep the land from getting stomped on. One of whom was... George... Yeah... Harrison? No... Uh, Kathleen! George Kathleen! Phew! Yay! Good job, Yellowstone! George Kathleen? was an artist and writer. He lived with Native Americans and was one of the first outside of their tribes to paint Plains Indians in their day-to-day -day lives. While he was kicking back in South Dakota, he realized we'd be in a lot of trouble unless humans put their heads together. Not unless... By some great, great protecting, protecting policy, policy of government, of government in, a in a magnificent, magnificent park, park. A nation's, a nation's park, park containing, containing man, man and, beast, and beast in, in all, all the wildness and freshness, and freshness of their, of their nature's, nature's beauty. beauty. We're almost in my favorite part! It's my favorite part too! Because in 1861, the United States Congress appointed the geologist Ferdinand Hayden to lead an expedition to the Yellowstone region of Wyoming. Hey, hey, hey! That's me! Uh-huh, and he thought you were so pretty that when he came back, he asked Congress to make you a national park. Aw, he should have gone further south if he wanted to find a real cutie. Anyway, it was in 1872 when President Ulysses Grant finally signed a bill that set aside 2.2 million acres of Yellowstone as a public park. So if you think about it, you're the first national park. Tim and Cricket, I'm old as dirt. The Antiquities Act of 1906 made it possible to protect more areas as parks and monuments, but they were run by different departments. It was confusing. So on August 25th, 1916, the National Park Service was founded. Ah, yes. The best holiday after Arbor and Earth Day. It would take a while before it got the power it has today. Execute Executive Order 6166. Yay! You remembered again! From then on, everything was under strict control by the Department of the Interior and they've been yanking our chain and screwing us over ever since. You sound like Miss Eve. It's scary. That's because I heard her grumble something about it earlier. She talks a mean jive, let me tell ya. We're all out of time! Catch you next time, campers! And remember to love our parks!